Hello, my name is Lauren Hendricks. My audience members are Kaylee Hendricks. Hey. Mitchell Daniel. Hello. And Lisa Hendricks. Hello. The purpose of my speech is to persuade my audience that human trafficking of children is morally and ethically wrong. 2.2 million. That's the number of children sold into the sex trade each year. Human trafficking happens everywhere. It can happen in airports, professional games, big social events, and anywhere from a big city to small towns. It's a global issue that is morally and ethically wrong. It's one of the fastest growing crimes and only second to the drug trade. 300,000 children in the U.S. are at risk for commercial sexual exploitation. Some of the issues with human trafficking is that it's a modern day form of slavery. It affects everyone and it robs children of their childhood. The first issue is that it is slavery. There are more slaves today than ever before. Human trafficking is selling and trading humans as if they are property and forcing children to have sex for money. This can be done by pimps or even family members and people that the children trust. Pimps target children because they're more vulnerable, cheaper to hire, and less likely to demand higher wages, according to ungift.org. The traffickers use lies, threats, and violence to engage children against their will and promise them a life of luxury and money. Though people believe it happens to only poor and homeless kids, any child can become a victim. A big portion of the victims are children. This includes boys and girls, not just boy, uh, sorry, not just girls like most people believe. Boys make up 50% of trafficking victims. A large percent of them are also runaways who are looking for a better life because they come from a home of abuse or just um, poverty. It happens to U.S. children also, not just kids from third world countries like most people believe. Between 14,000 and 17,000 people are trafficked into the U.S. each year, according to DoSomething.org. A majority of the victims are previously abused. Traffickers take advantage of parents who come from extreme poverty because they're willing to do anything to get money to pay their bills, even if it's selling off their children. They target tourists, kidnap victims, and job seekers also because they know they are desperate and will do anything for money. Human trafficking can also come through the internet and technology in the form of child pornography. Predators target people on the phone, social sites, through friends, and even at public places such as the mall. The kids that become victims and escape it are forced to grow up and deal with psychological and emotional problems. Randomhistory.com says that 80% of those sold into sexual slavery are under 24, and some as young as 6 years old. And over 71% of trafficked children show suicidal tendencies. Victims are forced to live in unsanitary and stressful living conditions. There's no room for them to sleep usually and no room for them to move really at all. And they have no food usually. There's no health care or basic services provided to them either. So this um, causes them to become sick and even spread STDs. Um, if the victims are rescued, it's hard for them to integrate back into society because of shame, trauma, and the fear of going back into the system. A lot believe that human trafficking is okay and only happens in other countries. It is morally and ethically wrong and happening in our own backyards. Every day, kids are abducted and sold into the sex trade. We all need to stop this horrible issue because no one deserves that kind of life. And if it hasn't affected some of us personally, it could only be a matter of time. Children face physical risks such as miscarriages, drug and alcohol addiction, contracting STDs, and abuse all throughout the world, and this should not be happening. Young, innocent 12-year-olds are developing depression and disorders, and something should be done about it. 20 to 30 million people in the world are exposed, and numbers are rising. Things need to change, and people don't need to feel like there is no other life for them. Would you know if you came upon a sex trafficking victim? Could you pick out a victim in a crowd? Would you know if you even came upon a situation where their where pimps are selling their children at games and stuff? You can join in helping stop this awful issue. 
people are raising awareness. Government, um, the government are enacting laws to protect victims and harsher laws for punishment against the traffickers themselves. Social services are providing help and shelter for victims, and educators are teaching about the signs of a victim. The movement is young, and if we keep working together, we can keep lowering the number of victims around the world. Thank you.